What's up, Future Fighters? It's Brandon Alex here again on the Buddy Fight News Corner, bringing you another Deck Building 101. This episode's gonna be on building for the locals. Duh. The locals. The locals. Uh, the reason why we're doing this video is because there's been a couple questions floating around the internet on the Buddy Fight page asking what tech choices people should be using and we decided to do a video on it to help or those people answer the most, questions. The most asked question I've seen, is this card a good card? It could be a good card, but you're <laughs> not always going to want to use it. Like, yeah. for example, Dragon Arms Artilliger. It's a <laughs> great card. It kills it. Soul Guard size 2 decks, such as Demigodal and other Star Dragon World decks. But... <clears throat> It's not, it's, it's okay. It really is just comes down to, does my opponent have something big that I need to kill that isn't a size 3? Like, it, when you got Demon Godel, yeah, he, he kind of shuts down Demon Godel. So, if you're going into your locals and you've noticed for the past week or so, you know, you have three or four Seeger players, a Raging Spirit player... Uh, 100 damage general player. Don't play this card. Don't don't play this card. He also prevents penetrate from small monsters. Like uh, crimson on. Well, not crimson omni drum. Uh, crimson, crimson drum. drum. Yeah, regular crimson drum. That's got the built-in penetrate. <clears throat> if you've got a, a monster with artillery in the center, it stops the penetrate. Which is great. You, you you hate taking damage. Taking damage equals death. Yeah, it doesn't stop double attack, though. So keep that in mind. But like Brand said earlier, it does nothing to size threes. It's a vanilla 2-1-2. Two, two. <laughs> so, like we said, if, it's, if you're seeing lots of size 2 decks, lots of things with Penetrate, lots of things with Soul Guard that are size 2s, Go ahead, main deck some Artilligers. If not, do not main deck Artilliger. It's, it's a bad choice. Bad don't, choice. Don't play Artilliger pretty much at all, unless there's that one person at locals that you really need to beat, and this is the only thing that helps against it. Because more often than not, you're, if your locals are a lot of size 3 players, there's, there's no use for this card. Like, more than likely... I'm not going to be using Artilliger at uh, Springfest this year. Not going to mm. be using it. Not in, locals. Main, not in the main deck, anyway. Or locals is kind of eh. Sometimes we have a lot of size 3 decks, sometimes we don't. So it's just better to not run a card that could be dead, unless you know for a fact that some people are going to play it. Like, if you can, you can walk in and just start playing, and then just before the tournament starts, notice what people are playing and just throw it in. Exactly. Underhanded, but but you win. But you win. Your winning's good. <laughs> Next up on the list, Armor Knight Naga. <laughs> Love this card. It's great against weapon-based rush decks. <laughs> Crimson's. You thought you were going to double attack me with your three crit item? Well, all know it's one crit now. <laughs> Kaiserion, you thought you were actually gonna hit me for some well, significant no, you're damage? One crit. Nah. Not fam. Oh, you thought you were gonna double tag me a four crit? Not fam, you two crit now. Let's let's not forget about the one time Naga <laughs> Naga killed off what was it, a Garam Lance? Yeah, I counterattacked the Garam Lance. That was a good day. All <laughs> to the center. Knock down their weapons crit. Battle Spear Unite. Counterattack. Bye. And it's a and it's a monster, so it can't be negated and this is, this is the best part. There is nothing your opponent can do to stop this card's activation, except not having a weapon. Yeah, which brings us to our, our absolute last point. If the opponent has a weapon, it does nothing. <laughs> it's literally just a vanilla 2-1-2, two, two, just like Artilliger. Granted, a lot of decks play weapons, but even if they play weapons, sometimes they're just one crit weapons, and it's kind of a waste to use it because it's just stopping the one damage. It's not bad, but it's not the greatest. And then, like, a lot of size 3 decks, like, um, Talica. Talica doesn't usually run, uh, the weapon, the 7-1. Too much gauge. 
Yeah, like they they can run it, but even if they do, Naga will just bump it down to 4K attack, and 4K is still a pretty relevant number. So, and stopping a one crit attack isn't I know too significant. Eh. <laughs> Unless you're using I'm not going to say it's not important. I'm... If they're swinging at a monster with that 7k and you drop it so they can't hit it, you you pay to gauge to save a monster. That's great. Pay to gauge to save an Iblis. Pretty much. Because everything else is going to die. <laughs> For just one gauge a day, you can save an Iblis. I will take that. All day, every day. And then another card on our list. We have Death Grip. It hits a lot of good cards. It hits 90% of the cards in the... Well, not 90, like more like 80% of the cards in the game. And it can just completely destroy Star Dragon World. Because they go, oh, I'm going to call my Star Guardian Drack Knife. Death Grip, you don't get no soul. Rip me. Rip you forever. And it's counter speed. Counter speed is great. Counter speed is love, counter speed is life. But if you have a lot of size threes at your locals, it ain't doing shit. It's gonna hit some size zeros. Get rid of yeah. all them one, one crit size zeros. So, Death Grip is another card like Artillery. You wanna run it a lot when you see a lot of rush decks and a lot of size twos and ones. But when you see size threes, it's a dead card. Yeah, it does absolutely nothing. So while at one point Death Grip used to be a mandatory four of, now we're seeing it at a three and two in the main, and then you, s you just side. see more more copies of it in the sideboard. And these aren't the only cards like these, but these are just examples. Anything that's good against a certain type of deck. Um, if you know your opponent, if you know your uh, locals is playing a lot of those kinds of decks, you obviously want to main deck them so you have a better chance of winning. Like, if you have a lot of dragons in your locals and you're playing Legend World, play all the dragon hate. Main board all of the dragon hate. All of the dragon hate. Now, I want to see like four copies of Balmung, buddy it if you want to. Start killing off everything they love. And there's nothing they can do about it. Yeah, same thing for Hundred Demons, the Thundermine for Dragons. If you if you see nothing but dragons, dual dragons, darkness dragons, black dragons, hate. Yeah. Hate, hate, hate. Because there's hate, only hate. one dragon player. Don't do it. Just sideboard it. Not worth it. Sideboard it if you need to. If you need to. But we'll t we'll talk about sideboarding in another video. That's the end of this one. So, this is Brent Alex signing off for the future card. Buddy Fight News Corner. And we'll see you again next time.